Hi, I'm Gigi. Welcome to a new tutorial. If you are just starting out in stable diffusion, it can be overwhelming to figure out where to begin. In this video, I will take you through the fundamentals of stable diffusion web UI and provide some UI customization tips for your first project. First of all, I want to show you where you can download models. Well, Civit AI is where you really go. Let's take a look. On Civit AI, we can find thousands of models. To make sure we download the correct one, we can use the filter to select the model type we want. For example, I am interested in checkpoint models that merged from Stable Diffusion version 1, then I will click this button. Let's say I'm very interested in this one. So go ahead and click the card, click download, it will start to download. But please, please pay attention to this warning. The checkpoint includes a VAE, download and place it alongside the checkpoint. It means we need to pair this VAE model with the checkpoint model to get the best result. So we have to download this file as well. Since we will often need to pair the VAE model with checkpoints model, it's a good idea to add the VAE drop-down option to this quick setting menu, right? To do that, click Settings, User Interface, Quick Setting List, and then you will type in comma sd underscore VAE. Confirm our setting, and then reload the UI. Now we can see the VAE drop-down beside the checkpoints drop-down, right? Super convenient. As our model has been downloaded successfully, let's put them into the right folder. And then go to Stable Diffusion Web UI. Choose Models, Stable Diffusion, and paste these two files. Let's see if it works. Click the refresh button, open the drop down. Here we go, both models are visible now. Another place we can find all these models are hidden behind this red button. Click this red button, a new section will display all existing models and it also tells you the red directory to place your model file. Because we will add more and more models, I want to do something to better manage my models. The first thing I consider is to add a preview image for my model. To do that, we need an image generated by this model that best represents it. So let's generate one image using this new model. Now we have our image. And all we have to do is to click on the card to replace the image. Done. Much better now. In the future, when we want to use certain models, simply click on the model. Text to image, we will type in prompts, configure the settings, and then generate the image. Image to image, this is where we can use image as a prompt. Easy to understand, but there is much more to learn and we can dive deeper in another tutorial. Extra functions, contains other useful functions, mainly used to upscale the images. PNG info, if we drop an image generated by stable diffusion, then we can retrieve all the information of this image here. So let me show you quickly. I uploaded a image from Civit AI and all the prompts and parameters are here. This is where we can learn from other people. And if we send this image to text image, all the prompts will be populated to the prompt area and the parameters will be set to the same. So let's see what we can get from it. Okay, an image pretty similar to the original one. Checkpoint Merger allows you to mix your base models for uh, image generation. So it sounds very experimental. I encourage you to test it and form your own formula. Train. This is where you can train your own models. 
Settings is where we can set the user interface preferences, as I demonstrated earlier. Extensions are very important to Stable Diffusion Web UI. Uh, it will expand the functionality of Stable Diffusion exponentially, so we will definitely need to have several more tutorials on that. Next, I want to show you how to use text to image function. So in the prompt area, we will type in uh, what we want, right? For example, this is what I typed in. And in the negative prompt, we can type in what we don't want. Some examples of negative prompt include bad, include bad anatomy, blurry, pixelated, poor lighting, blah, 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 right? We can also save certain set of prompts if you want to reuse them in the future. What we will do is to click this save button and give it a name, confirm. And next time when we want to use it, we can select this prompt from the drop down and then click the button to uh, populate the text to the prompt area. Very, very easy. Here is where we can select sampling methods. A customization option here is to change the drop down to radio buttons. So we can go to settings, user interface, and unclick this one. Save the setting and reload UI. We can also hide certain samplers if we, we no longer want to use them. So go to settings, sampling um, sample parameters, and then click the one we want to hide. Restoring faces are um, often used in the realistic portrait generation. It won't affect anima uh, animation styled drawing that much. And tiling is used for generating seamless patterns. And high resolution is used for uh, upscaling your image during the generation process. Width and height uh, is where you define the size of the image. Batch, uh, batch count is uh, how many how many rounds do you want the process to generate this image, and batch size is how many images do you want to uh, generate during each batch. The CFG scale adjusts how much the image looks closer to the prompt. If CFG scale is greater, the output will be more in line with the input prompt, but it will be distorted in some way. On the other hand, the lower the CFG scale value, the more likely it is to drift away from the prompt, but the better quality. And I suggest you to put the CFG scale between 7 to 14. That works pretty well for me. Seed basically is the unique identifier to specific image generated by stable diffusion. Usually you just leave the number as negative one and it will generate a random seed number for that image. I have another very interesting use case to share with you about how to use seed to fine tuning the image, but I want to keep today's video short and simple. So I decided to make another video for that. Scripts is like a toolbox where you can store and load customized scripts. And a good example is the XYZ plot. As a designer, we very often need to use uh, color swatched for quick references and this XYZ plot can help us generate model swatches for us to preview different combination of parameters. And so let me show you how to, to make a model swatch. Let's see, we want to preview the effects of different base models configured with different CFG scale. So we will select uh, checkpoints for our X axis and CFG scale for Y axis and uh, input the CFG uh, uh, scale we want. So I put it in as 3915. Click Generate. And this is what we get. We can quickly look through and to select the one we want. I think this is the good end for today's tutorial. In our next episode, 
we will learn how to use image to image function. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel. More stable diffusion tutorials are coming soon. Please have a great week and bye.